Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In the previous video, we saw how we can create offset alignment and offset profile. And in this video, this will be this will be a short video. And in this video, we'll see how we can create a circular alignment. Okay. So as I think I have shown this in one of my videos, like how we can convert a ordinary polyline into alignment. Okay. So you just have option here to create alignment from uh, objects okay and that you directly select an object like any polyline like let's say we draw a polyline here let's say just like that draw something like that okay and then if i want to convert it as poly uh, into an alignment then i just have to select alignment and create alignment select create alignment from uh, objects and then i can just select this and hit enter and it will ask me for the direction i will select or you can reverse and then we have to put the names and everything and even erase or add curves you have you can add curves and just convert it like that okay if you okay then it will convert into alignment currently uh, the same style is being applied here okay and there are no uh, levels on it okay cool but if you create a circle let's say we have a circle here maybe let's uh, put it to uh, radius as 15 meter okay and if i try to use the same method if i try to use the same method as previous one go to the alignment and create alignment from object and i click on it now it cannot be selected you say select entity must be type of line arc polyline or uh, 2d okay something like that so we cannot do it so there's a workaround for this there's another another method for this so go to the alignment, right? Uh, drop, click on the drop down, and click on the alignment creation tools. Okay, and then you name your alignment. Okay, I will say tutorial circle. Okay, and this uh, I just keep everything same. And then, okay, okay. Now, uh, actually, this alignment will be useful for our maybe some circular. Uh, alignments or roundabout something like that okay so this is actually useful okay so let's see how we're going to create this so go to your not these usual options but the second group and here you click on the drop down and then you have here more fixed curves option okay and here uh if you already have a radius for the alignment okay and center point defined then you can use this option otherwise this option okay so we gonna say fixed curve center point through point okay through the point because we already know the point okay uh, and that is that will be our radius okay center point so it will ask you to select the center point once you click on it so select the center point and now it is say asking for curve direction it's clockwise or counterclockwise this is clockwise so i say clockwise okay and now it is asking you know it, it can it can increase or decrease we can snap to any point but through point we have so we want this 15 meter so i click on this and then I hit enter and okay these are these will appear the levels will appear so at this point here you can notice you have two levels appearing so this level is the start and end point okay so uh once you have selected your alignment you can check where it is select alignment and then go to alignment properties and here you can see 94.25 meter is your uh, end point of the land and which coincides with the start okay uh, actually it's 94.248 and if you go further into this must maybe different uh, you can just calculate the uh, diam the perimeter of a circle and see how much it is okay so okay this was a short video for this particular thing uh, thanks for watching like share and subscribe to our channel if you have learned something new and uh, have a great time